Hey everyone, it's Larry from WSTraits.com. Had a viewer request to do an update on TTOO or T2 Biosystems. Uh, they had said something about the volume increase. And yes, as you can see, this is my uh, BSP indicator that you can download over on the website. And huge spike in volume. So if you look at this uh, blue number right here, this is the average volume that they're putting out. And the green number is the total volume. And you can see these guys have basically been averaging uh, recently about like four or 500,000 shares a day at this huge spike where they actually put out, uh, there were 233, almost 234 million shares traded this day. And then today you had 112 million. So let's zoom in, see if we can see anything. And I was looking through the news. So this was, i click on the news real quick. The 30th you had, um, the heck is it? Oh, right here. Uh, T2 Biosystem shares rise 52% on new sales in Poland. So that was the 30th. That was this big spike in volume. And then today you had another spike in volume because uh, they had some more good news. So it's T2 Biosystems has received notice of allowance for its U.S. patent application uh, titled Nuclear Magnetic Resonance NMR Detection of Cogulation Time. Uh, no idea what the heck that is, but it's good news for them. And we'll look at the price action. Uh, yeah, I mean, if you click it, this is why I don't trade uh, penny stocks almost ever. It's this chart is just an absolute mess. It's just a constant move down. Did a one for 50 split and kind of chopped sideways after that, made some moves, and then still just bearish, bearish, bearish. So zoom in again. Uh, for me, it looks like they, for now at least, found a bottom at around eight cents so you know maybe if you wanted to go long there that wouldn't be a bad spot put your stop right below that but for me if this you know wasn't a penny stock if it was something i was interested in trading i wouldn't be going along until they can show that they can break at least this level right here where they kind of chop sideways forever so you know you had bad earnings i'm assuming right here where they were chopping sideways for a bit, going into earnings, bad earnings, fat sell off, and then kind of bottomed out at eight cents. So, you know, for me, I, yeah, like I said, I wouldn't even think about getting into this thing until it's like around 30 cents, uh, possibly break above this 21. Could be another entry, which is ironically at uh, about 21 cents. Because, I mean, you look at this candle, they had the news about their sales in Poland bunch of people got in and then either profit taking or just got shorted to hell and you know dumped right back where it was so yeah right now i'm seeing a bottom of around eight cents and i don't know i like i say if it can't break above i'd say the 21 moving average around 21 cents then you know it's probably just going to keep on trickling down and that's the uh, whole issue with penny stocks is dilution they need more money they sell more shares uh splits that end up if you hold shares uh cost you money if you're holding shares uh when they do splits uh, it comes out of your account so it's just a lot of headaches um yeah like it like i said if penny stocks for me it's like a jump in and jump out type of thing but those are price levels i would be looking for uh anything below eight i'd get the heck out and i wouldn't be going long until uh, like around 21 cents where they can prove that they're going to actually start making uh, a move higher. So uh, those are just the price levels I'm looking at right now and these crazy knocks in volume. So, I mean, people might start stepping into this. They've had, what, three days or two good news stories in three days after, you know, horrible earnings. So let's see what they do.